Hello everyone. My name is Terry Barnes. I'm down here in Kentucky. Thank you for tuning in to the Trucker Rudy Show for today. You know you got a good video coming up when it's come up with Trucker Rudy. I had the honor to meet Trucker Rudy and his son Diego when they passed through this area here uh, a week or two ago. And I tell you what, it was a great experience. I really enjoyed uh, meeting them and hope to do it again real soon. You never know. With Trucker Rudy trucking around uh, like he is, they never know we're not bumping each other again. But uh, please uh, be kindly to hit the subscribe button down there if you ain't already are. And if, uh, please hit like and do a comment. Trucker Rudy really appreciate that. All right. With uh, that said, God bless y'all. And here we go with the Trucker Rudy Show. <laughs> like a big crash I sure hope everybody is survived yeah that is not looking so good right now they just opened her up a little bit here and it looks like they're pausing everybody again so 
I don't know how they might just be moving an ambulance there and then they might move everybody again so we'll see what they're gonna be doing okay now it looks like they're just moving that one ambulance there and then they might let us get through again but yeah that is not looking so good it looks like that one car rolled her over that's what it looks like but yeah here comes the ambulance there's a bunch of uh, look like three or four ambulances here and a bunch of cops and a bunch of people obviously yeah but things do happen and uh, sometimes it's surprising on how uh, how easily it happens you know like like here on a dry sunny day you, no trees around you should be able to see the intersection and uh, you know it would think that people would be able to see other vehicles coming but sometimes they're busy texting away and they don't realize and that there is another vehicle coming and next thing you know it just kaboom and you got an accident you know Got the police officer coming this way, so I'm not sure what he's going to be doing, but well, I guess they're directing the other ambulance out of here, so yeah, that's probably what they're going to be doing, so let's see. Let's see what they're going to be doing here. He's talking to the four-wheeler up there. Let's see if he's got something to say. Yeah, looks like they might be... Uh, only letting a certain number of people through and then and then the other way might be going through so we'll see we'll see what happens but I guess we'll keep you guys updated here and see what's going to go on and kind of hoping they'll let us get through here maybe they only let the other two trucks go because they were uh, they were uh, cattle haulers or, or pig haulers. They had pigs on. They had an appointment at the border with the wet, uh, with the vet and everything. So they can't hold them up here for too long, right? Because they're animals, right? So otherwise they would get in trouble with animal control. So they pretty much have to let them guys go. It seems like for us, the dry one guys, we don't really get that pleasure, I guess. But oh well. I guess we'll just have to sit and wait here. Alrighty guys, they have finally opened her up. Yeah, that is not looking good at all whatsoever. It's quarter to one in the afternoon right now. And we are finally getting her out of here. So that's fantastic news. So we are going to put the hammer down. We've been here since quarter to 11. Now it's time to get out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed. Not too bad of a lineup. They were turning a lot of four-wheelers around, so mostly just trucks over here. But I talked to the guy earlier, and they said that one person died, so that's yeah, not really good. But anyways, we're going to put the hammer down, and let's get in to the USA. Welcome to the United States of America, North Dakota and Pacific. Yeah! We have finally crossed the border. That only took a little while because there was a long lineup over there today. So quite a few trucks in the lineup there. So had to wait uh, in line for a good while till we got to the booth so finally we got across but hey here we are now we're gonna be putting the hammer down going to Massachusetts yes indeed that's a fact quite windy out here today don't know exactly how fast the wind is but it is very windy out here today that's that's for sure but yeah we are now in the United States don't know exactly how far we're gonna go today yet but hey we're gonna put the hammer down we're gonna get a few hours of driving behind us it's already uh, 1 43 in the afternoon so uh, yeah 
tell you uh, what the hammer down it. We want to do our delivery by Wednesday in the afternoon, probably. Because we got three days to get there, or three and, well, almost four days, but... But yeah, we're supposed to be there Wednesday, no later than uh, uh, three o'clock in the afternoon, so... We're gonna have to giddy up and go. That's right. If we want to make that time. We are now in Fargo, North Dakota. Yeah, we are. Just making this ramp here right now, going over the 94, I-94. Yes, indeed. We will be in Minnesota here very, very shortly. That's right. It is an absolutely gorgeous day out today. Except it's a little windy, but other than that, it's just a little cloudy, nice and warm, 30 degrees Celsius out here. And it's sun there. What better could you ask for, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna try and get in the lane here. Here we go. 60 miles. 160 miles to Minneapolis, it looks like. Yeah, that's a good while yet. Actually, matter of fact, we might get very close to it. <laughs> I might just do it. Or, I might go past it and uh, I might even go up to Wilson, uh, Wisconsin. I don't know yet. I do kind of want to drive really far today, but we'll see how far we get. Because uh, I still have 1,650 miles to go yet, and uh, it's going to be a tough one, I think. Especially since we uh, left late, and then we had that two-hour delay up there by that car accident. Huh. So, uh, so, yeah. Gonna be a tough one, but eh, not too tough. I think if we just take our tan and go, I think we'll be all right. But we'll have to do just our minimum ten. Uh, we won't be able to waste any time. That's for sure. Keep her steady, and we'll be all right, I guess. But anyways, we're just about to enter into Minnesota. All right, guys. As soon as we got across the border there into Minnesota. There's a rest area up there, so uh, guess what? We went in there and took us a little break. Yeah, I needed to take a little break. They've been going for a few hours, so... Uh, so yeah, you know what? let's go in there. And I made me a couple of sandwiches, and here we are. Going at it again. It's already five o'clock in the afternoon, but hey, we're still going to continue on cruising along here. That's what we got to do if we want to get there early on Wednesday. So, we got a chicken house coming up here in a little bit. I don't think they're open. I can't see their lights flashing. So, I don't think they're open today. But that's the way we like it too, right? We don't really want them to be open. <laughs> but yeah, we still have uh, 1,648 miles to go yet, so... We gotta work hard yet. I would really like to get there for Wednesday morning, but if we can't do it, we can't do it, obviously. I mean, in order for me to do that, I would have to do, you know, at least another, well probably 300 miles yet today and I don't really feel like doing that so I mean it would be six seven eight nine ten o'clock at night you know I could possibly do that close to that anyway so we'll see how we feel today we'll see you never know we might actually do it but yeah the lights are out they're not flashing so that means we're good to go we don't have to worry about the chicken house Oh, you don't really have to worry about them anyways, right? Because we scaled it at the Penner's Yard. We know we're legal. Yeah, according to their scale anyways. 
who knows if how accurate that scale is, but hey, I went over it twice and it was pretty accurate on each time, so there's only like maybe 20 pounds difference in between the scales, so you know, that was not too bad. That usually means they are pretty accurate. But anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here and show you what we can, right? Alright guys, it is the next morning though. But uh, hey, we made it up here to this uh, Wilson, Wisconsin truck stop. Yeah, it's kind of like a mom and pop truck stop over here, but hey, we made it. Yeah, we got here quite late last night, so got here about quarter to ten, something like that. So, uh, yeah, I was tired, so I just, you know, went straight to bed. I got lucky enough, I even got a parking spot here right in the front row, you know. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, we're about done here, so I guess I'll close off this video for today. And uh, we'll hope to see you guys here again tomorrow morning. So stick around. <laughs> behind me that day is gonna come